Yeah, it's a really good season for the team. Also, this year with the three stage win, and uh, Lopez is uh, no good lucky for uh, yesterday. I think the uh, uh, Tifosis is uh, a little bit, bit dangerous, but it's normal. I think it's, uh, the, the team is uh, really, really good. Also, good training now in the, in the altitude because the two is more important, but it's better the race of race. No, so we didn't see too much, but uh, they hear about it, you see it on social media afterwards, and it's been coming for a while, these things. You know, people in certain, certain countries, they, it's great to have the fans and everything, but uh, it gets a little bit too, they get a bit too close sometimes. And of course, last week, uh, it was the bidden incident there, and then of course now it was the, it was the running alongside uh, Lopez. Um, have you ever had anything like that happen to you? Or? I did, I did, and when I won the stage in Colorado, there was, I uh, actually had a guy fall over next to me in the motorbike, hit him on the way through. Uh, I understand people getting excited, but I, I watched Tour of California the other day when I was at home, and I saw on Mount Baldy as well, it was just, I, I get that the fans are excited, but I don't really see the reason to run next to <laughs> riders to get your uh, three seconds of fame on TV, you know, in a, in a tutu or something. Yeah, it's a... Uh... Yeah, it's difficult to to say something because it's uh, maybe it's made the overreacting of uh, Lopez. I think he knows that. But uh, if you are there on the last day of Giro uh, and you lose seconds because of that, uh, yeah, it's uh, not so nice incident. Yeah, but with adrenaline, people don't know what they're doing because they're full of stress. And but it's very sad that the uh, race is decided. Not really decided, but. It's a sad story. I would say I, I, I get the uh, reaction of uh, Lopez for sure, because uh, it is annoying when uh, a spectator who wants to run, who shouldn't be running next to you, uh, and then he takes you down. Of course, you're angry, you're in full, uh, um, full effort, uh, but of course you cannot do that. I heard about it, I didn't see it, but uh, yeah, it's, yeah. I don't know actually why the fans are doing that, you know, like uh, start walking uh, with the riders and uh, yeah, the guy is racing there for three weeks and uh, some, some stupid idiot is uh, taking, him out, taking him out. Yeah, it's, uh, for him it's, it's a bit of pity of course and uh, yeah, I've, I hope uh, people start to realize what they're actually doing, you know, like uh, it's good that when you're having fun and having a beer, but uh, just stay on the side of the roads. I, I mean... If you get hit by a little Colombian like that, it's not really going to hurt, is it? So I thought it was a bit over the top. Like, I mean, he's a pretty small dude, I don't think. Do you think it was justified, his reaction, or was it perhaps a bit too excessive? Um, I mean, heat of the moment, who am I to judge, eh? Like, I mean, the amount of times you want to smack someone in the head that you just don't have the opportunity because they, because you keep, keep on rolling. But I don't know, I mean, I, I don't want to call anyone out, but... It's hard to, for anyone, I hate when people just like say like this shouldn't be done or you know whatever, he's like, he's just, a, he's just a dude, you know, he's just a dude, angry and it's just what people do, so it's just, just what it is, but uh, I, I doubt it would have hurt him. <laughs> yeah, no, I think, obviously it's not good either way, I can understand the high emotion, you know, it's, we wouldn't go into their job and start running around and pushing people around, it's, it's good that you can get there, but you need to just be sensible you know they're doing their job and they're on the limit so yeah